Hello Libra, welcome back to my channel. I'm Aji and this is Sacred Libra where we talk all things Libra. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel if this reading resonates with you. Okay Libra, I'm going to be giving you a timeless message. This is from the Intuitive Night Goddess Tarot deck. Um, been really loving this deck. Been really loving this deck. Okay, so we're going to be saying where's your current energy, what's coming towards you, um, love, career, self, very general reading, so definitely take what resonates and leave what does not, okay, let's get into this, um, downloads, downloads, okay, so I think I've been channeling the story of Esther, um, I've been channeling the story of Esther. I've been channeling the story of this orphan turned queen. And it was a biblical story coming out. And, um, I don't know. It was just weird. I was, like, reading all day yesterday. And, um, <clears throat> I was channeling her story. And I thought it was cool. about how I went to the picture and I think uh, I was using my um, my holographic deck and I think this was the Ten of Pentacles that I had and it's a picture of a um, kid standing behind a woman and there's a man talking to the woman and then when I looked up the, the story of Esther it had a picture in the Bible and it looked with a picture like from biblical times and it looked exactly like that card so I was like Wow. Wow. But anyway, that's the... The beautiful queen, Esther. But, let's get right into this reading. Um, yeah, I was channeling Esther. I'm gonna see what else they... Well, Spirit got to tell me about it. <laughs> But, um, where's Libra currently? Where's Libra's energy currently? Where's Libra's energy currently change? Going through some changes. Libra is changing things up, okay? Um, at the bottom of this, I feel like you're going through some type of change from some type of loss. So you're finally, the flowers here represents growth. That's I love this deck. The flowers here represents growth, and sometimes we find the growth in our pain. Sometimes we have to go back there to certain situations so we can see the beauty in a painful situation, or we can see that there, there was always light there, there was love there, there was support there. Sometimes we have a, a tendency to tell ourselves that something is way worse than it is, and our mind can you know, do amazing things and create so much. So it can create so many different narratives to a situation, to a story. But until you allow yourself to go back there to, to analyze things and self-reflect on certain things that may have hurt you or certain moments that brought a lot of dis discomfort to your life, until you allow yourself to do that, you won't see some type of growth. Now I feel like the idea is changing here. Yeah. You got some type of clarity with this ace of swords. Um, oh, that says, that doesn't even say change. That says chance. Chance. So I do feel like that has something to do with some type of change as well. Um, that says chance. It has different cards in here that's not from like the, the, the traditional tarot like they call it something else from the major arcana um <clears throat> i think that should be like the that should be the will of fortune yeah change of events yeah change I had a feeling it says change, but I was getting change from it too. Like cycles change, okay? So you go through a situation where um, 
you look at some type of past situation and you get some type of clarity on it. This is all growth from your past. This is growth from self-assessing, from self-reflecting, from going back to those not so good emotions, from sitting in your grief, being able to sit in your grief, being able to look at some type of painful situation or some type of discomfort or some sorrow or disappointment. And the light and the clarity that you get from a situation changes it. So now you're vibrant on a whole different level. A lot of different things are attracting to you at this time. What's coming towards Libra? What's coming towards Libra? The temperance. Healing. Blessings. Help, assistance. You walked away from an ideal. Look at these cards, y'all. <laughs> the eight of cups you walked away from an ideal walking away from some type of fall something that wasn't serving you emotionally and i feel like your idea the story the narrative of whatever happened from the past was not serving you emotionally and you're walking away from that type of story for some of you guys you're walking away from that type of story you're walking away from a whole idea yeah Walking, you got introspection behind it. You're walking away from a whole ideal. <clears throat> and you're working on yourself, dedicated to working on yourself. This looks like so much growth here. You got the Wheel of Fortune, the Temperance coming out, Chance card coming out. Um, a lot of growth in a different direction. Freedom. Being free. Oh, then you got the Three of Swords, which is a beautiful, they have a beautiful message for the Three of Swords in this deck. This is the Strength card. Not the Strength card. <clears throat> this is the Chariot card. The goddess is equipped with wings on her wrist and back, crescent moons adorning the butterfly ones behind them. She holds a staff in her right hand and with her left welcomes the animals of all walks of life. Trust in freedom binds them stronger than chains. Mm. She works in harmony with her environment to manifest according to her will. Her crown is adorned with a star and the symbol of the crescent moon on her wings relate to the high priestess donating intuitive power. Tap into your higher self to discover your path and others will follow. You are the great master of your life. Don't let anyone else take that away from you. You have the freedom to shape your own reality. Trust that growth and reward will come from taking this journey towards personal sovereignty. Things aren't always what we expect. Be patient. Let go of owning expectation. Welcome the flow of the universe into your life and find your magic where you are. This is all like, this is all the powerful blessings of finally healing from some type of past. Finally not letting the chains of some type of old idea, some type of old pain, some type, some, some wounds keep you in bondage. What did they say? It says trust in, trust in freedom binds them stronger than chains. So the idea of being free, you switch your whole ideology. It's like you don't want to be bonded or chained to a certain idea of yourself or a certain idea of the past or a certain narrative of your story Story that you have to be um, bonded and chained by. You have to live by that narrative. Who says that you have to live by that narrative? This is you questioning, questioning the... Um, the ideas of things. Who says you have to live to that narrative? Questioning yourself. Like who says that who says that was my past? Who says that, that was it was all bad? Who says that now I can't be fully happy? <clears throat> I feel like this moment of clarity, this moment of truth that you gain 
is a beautiful moment of clarity. For some of you guys, you're going to begin to see the momentum, a lot of momentum pick up because you're just on a different frequency. You're on a different wave. It's like you have a better understanding with yourself. You're in better bonds. You're in better unity with yourself. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you're just in better, in better unity and better bonds. Just feeling way better about yourself and about your path. And it's like this readiness, this readiness for you to move. <clears throat> Let's keep going. Oh, yeah, the three of swords at the bottom of the deck. That has a beautiful meaning. It shows about how our wounds shape us and grow. As you can see, the Three of Swords, it's a heart, but it's a flower blossoming. Did you guys see that? It's beautiful. It's a beautiful card. But it's a flower blossoming, and it's about how our wounds um, can grow. We blossom. We have to, Sometimes we learn things through painful situations and how we can't like write off those painful situations because they, they do shape and form us into stronger beautiful beings it is like that lesson learned in sandpaper that beautiful blessing that was wrapped in a lesson these are blessings wrapped in lessons and sometimes painful lessons and because it hurts so bad or because something hurt we can forget the lesson and the beauty of it just because some because we're going through a painful situation but not anymore this is the whole different idea i love this meaning of the three of swords because Usually when you see the three of, three of swords, you think of hurt, heartache, suffering, inner suffering, pain, grief, loss. This is that moment of clarity, of understanding how all that you've been through got you to where you are now. This is the moment of clarity. This is the moment of victory, of you understanding how in your wounds, something beautiful blossomed and something grew. And it came through something painful, not neglecting the pain of the situation. It was painful. But what you take from it now, you take more from the lesson or the blessing now than you will take the pain. It's like you're out of the moment of feeling pain and you're in the moment of feeling the blessing in the situation. <clears throat> what advice do we have for Libra and love? Six of Wands, there's a lot of success in love, okay? So there's a lot of people who are coming um, towards you. There's a lot of people coming towards you. There's a lot of recognition. There's a lot of people. I feel like there's a lot of people that's coming towards you. There's a lot of success. There's also movement. So some of you guys may need to pick up some type of movement and momentum. This is like the success on your journey, like while you in action on your journey. Um, but definitely on this healing journey, you still have the three of swords at the bottom of the deck. There's going to be beautiful situations and definitely you're going to be connecting with beautiful people through some type of lesson. I'm feeling like this could have been some type of past relationship on the outside looking in Libra. You look good. You definitely could be dressing yourself, like getting dressed, like you can dress. Like Libras, Libras are usually good dressed. They like, they dress really, really well. Uh, most of us, cause I ain't even gonna lie. But anyway, <laughs> but Libras usually dress, they have a nice sense of fashion. Um, but you have the six of wands here. It looks like you're getting a lot of attention for something getting a lot of attention this could also be bringing financial gains making you secure and stable definitely getting a lot of attentions and something and something but when it comes to to money i mean when it comes to love it looks like you're definitely getting a lot of attention you're definitely looking good out there it's like multiple suitors what other messages do we have for libra and love Yeah. Okay.
So you got the Nymph of Wands in reverse. There's some type of bad news. That somebody comes up. There's some type of bad news here. Um, about somebody. But this is one person. What else do we have for Libra? Yeah, this is some type of... Okay, so there's some type of bad news about somebody. The ending of some type of major ending with some type of relationship. Um, some of you guys could definitely be going through some type of major ending with a relationship. Out of all these people, or, or all of these things that you're attracting around you, I don't think that you're definitely going to... This is a big... This is a major ending, though. So, I feel like... Whatever this news, though, I feel like if this was this person, if anything was to represent you of, about this person, this person was so immature, so immature. This person didn't know what they wanted at all, like didn't know what they wanted. You could have dealt with the person who was cheating because they didn't know what they wanted. Their cheating had nothing to do with you. They didn't know what it is that they wanted. Um, that's a major, and I feel like that's a major idea that you definitely have to get out of your head because some of you guys could be blaming yourselves in the situation. There's a situation that there was a person who didn't know exactly what it is they wanted. They was immature about a situation. <clears throat> you do look at the situation as like, you do get into your mind a little bit about this person, whatever news you find out about this person. You do get in your head, but you don't see the love and the abundance. You don't see what you're about to walk into. You don't, because you don't, because you don't see these people around you. You don't see all that you're attracting. What messages do we have for Libra in career? The warrior of pentacles, keep on moving forward, perseverance, perseverance, perseverance. There's something, you're on your path, something definitely could be taking longer than expected, um, Libra, but this is the time where you have to stick it out, dug it out, like I like to say, um, and just stay patient, stay patient. The end is being like, just keep your eyes on the prize, you'll be surprised. What other messages do we have for Libra and career? Got the high priestess. Yep. Keep your eyes on the prize. Even though something in front of you may not look like it, trust in your intuition. Also, trust in your intuition with your choices. Um, there could also be some type of drama happening at work. Yeah, there can also be some type of drama happening at work. There can be some type of low money something going on um what other messages do we have got the six of swords but yeah there definitely could be some other underlying issues like some drama it could be some like low pay that's what I'm, I'm thinking like low pay not enough money hours something's not adding up for you but there's a new beginning definitely and you're walking into some type of transition phase. You're transitioning over. So as long as you stay patient, keep your eye on the prize, keep putting the work in that you need to put the work in and don't get all caught up in the outside mess because there definitely could be some outside mess going on. Um, definitely. What's the closing messages for Libra? strengths stay strong you do have the inner strength to get you through whatever situation that you're going through period the strength is with, within you see her touching her heart that's what her strength is this is inner strength so you do have the inner strength to get you through what it is you're going through you do have the strength to grow from a situation, to see a situation from a different perspective. You do have the ability to do that. You do have the strength to heal yourself. It's also healing, inner healing as well. Um, Nine of Pentacles at the top of the deck. I feel like you're content. You're getting to a sense of more contentment now, a little more happiness, um, more stable, more secure in your own self and self. Um, 
What other messages do we have for Libra? Closing messages. Queen of Cups. Honor your emotions. Honor how it is that you feel about a situation. Um, open your heart. Remain open. Um, remain your, your, your emotions make you strong, not weak. Um, vulnerability makes you stronger, not weak. So remain open in the situations. Um, definitely there's a need for you to feel your emotions here. Feel and honor your, your emotions um, from a situation. You may be hiding them. You may be hiding how it is that you truly feel. Yes, you're doing the work of walking away. You may feel like if you go into like feeling your emotions about a situation, it's going to stop you from walking away from uh, the whole idea that doesn't serve you. But this is inner healing work. Definitely need to feel and honor those emotions. What other message do we have for Libra? Okay. And then we have, yeah, honor how it is that you feel. You got the warrior of cups. Honor how it is that you feel and share your emotions. Share what it is that you feel about a situation. Don't hold back your feelings about some situation, about what it is that you're feeling. And also trust. If there's something that you want to do, now is the right time. You're protected. Um, now is the right time to take a leap of faith. You have potential. This is like the fool card. Um, the potential. Now is the time to take a leap of faith. You're, you're 100% supported. Trust. Trust, have faith, and leap. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the queen of wands. There's a need for you to see the spark in yourself. See the fire within you. See the fire inside of your own, your yourself. You have the six of cups at the bottom of the deck a lot of old emotions these old things are coming up because it's time for you to feel these things feel, feel these things and keep changing your perspective because you're changing your perspective and it's bringing different things towards you at this time so this is the message that I have for you guys today. I hope this reading resonated with you. If it did, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.